So let us start with understanding with the topic that is equilibrium. Equilibrium analysis, fine. So now, first of all, what is equilibrium? Equilibrium means a state of balance. Now, in an economy, if we consider the state of balance in an economy, or if we have to understand from the economics point of view, then generally, if we have to understand the market forces, how will we understand the market forces? Simply by understanding the demand and supply. These are the market forces. As a layman, normally we have to consider, then what we will consider, the market forces will definitely consider the demand for a product and supply for a product, right? So state of balance is said to be in equilibrium. That means when at a certain point of time, the demand equals to supply of the product. That state is called equilibrium, fine? Now, while understanding this equilibrium analysis, there are two points that we have to consider. One is partial equilibrium, equilibrium analysis and general equilibrium analysis. These are the two terms that we normally use. So now what is partial equilibrium analysis? Partial equilibrium analysis actually states or understand the economic, see, understand the market forces in isolation. What do we mean by isolation? Isolation simply means that it is not considering the overall market structure. Here we are not understanding in totality the entire forces. So what we are trying to understand here, we are only understanding the Demand and price relation. Look, partial equilibrium me kya hota hai? Hum log sirf market forces ko study kar rahe hain and that too in isolation. Matlab, dem, ek cheek ke demand bar dahi hai. So, demand kyo bar dahi hai? So, mene bola, oh price, uska price baut gir gaya. As per law of demand, hum log kya jante hain? Law of demand states, it is just variables, other things remaining constant. Demand has got an inverse relationship with price. Hume ye cheek pata hai, fine? So, if we do partial equilibrium analysis, then our statement will be that if demand is increasing, if our demand is increasing, then why it is increasing? It is simply because price decreases. At a certain point of time, we can consider that the price is decreasing and that is why the demand is increasing. So, here we don't consider any other factor. But if we look at total market forces, social forces, economic forces, Political forces, the entire बहुत सारी चीजें हैं जिसका impact होता है हमारे market पे। तो जब हम लोग पूरी तरह से market forces को study करते हैं और market में demand and supply की जो forecasting है और demand and supply के forces को in totality सारी चीजों को consider करके study करते हैं ना, उसको बोलता है general equilibrium analysis। इसका मतलब we are considering entire forces। यहाँ पे entire forces क्या होगा? आपके इकोनॉमिक फोर्सेस, सोशल फोर्सेस, टेक्नोलॉजिकल फोर्सेस, ग्लोबल फोर्सेस, तो कितने सारे फोर्सेस हैं? बहुत सारी चीजें होती हैं ना जिसका हमारे इक्विलिब्रियम या स्टेट ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम पे इंपैक्ट होता है। मैं एक बार तुम लोगों को इक्विलिब्रियम दिखा देती हूँ। व्हाट इज इक्विलिब्रियम? देखो, so, our demand curve is the normal thing, our demand curve is downward sloping. As we all know, the demand has got an inverse relationship with price. Now, again, my supply function, the supply curve, how is it? It is positive. Why it is positive? Simply because supply is a function of price. So, I can write it here. Supply is equal to function of price. Fine. Again, here we will understand demand is inversely related with price and so my demand curve is downward sloping and supply curve is positive or upward sloping right now at this point where my demand meets the supply my demand curve meets the supply this point is called the equilibrium point is from look at the equilibrium point demand is equals to supply my consumers are ready to buy this much amount of quantity at a certain period of time, at a certain point of time, and at this price, right? So, we call this equilibrium This is called the equilibrium point. This is called equilibrium point. 
दिस इज द इक्विलिब्रियम प्राइस हम लोग इसको बोल सकते हैं इक्विलिब्रियम प्राइस एंड दिस इज द इक्विलिब्रियम क्वांटिटी राइट सो ये हो गया हम लोग का एक नॉर्मल इक्विलिब्रियम इक्विलिब्रियम हम लोग इसी को बोलते हैं दिस इज कंसीडर्ड एज इक्विलिब्रियम अगर इक्विलिब्रियम का डायग्राम बनाना हो तो हम यही बनाएंगे इक्विलिब्रियम फाइन बट नाउ इफ वी कंसीडर द इक्विलिब्रियम फ्रॉम अ जनरल एस्पेक्ट अगर हम लोग जनरल इक्विलिब्रियम एनालिसिस करेंगे तो जनरल इक्विलिब्रियम हम लोग क्या स्टडी करेंगे अगर डिमांड गिर रहा है तो मैं क्या स्टडी करूँ डिमांड गिर रही है तो क्यों गिर रही है डिमांड uh, गिर रही है प्राइस अचानक से बढ़ गया इसलिए तो मैंने अगर से बोला कि डिमांड गिर रही है क्योंकि प्राइस बढ़ गया इसके कारण डिमांड गिर रही है बट ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि उस सिचुएशन में उस टाइम में मार्केट में दाम नहीं गिर रहा हो या प्राइस नहीं बढ़ रहा हो नॉर्मली हम लोग क्या जानते हैं कि कोई चीज का प्राइस बढ़ रहा है इसलिए डिमांड गिर रहा है राइट right? ऐसा हम लोग नॉर्मली स्टडी करते हैं सो so, अगर हम सिर्फ प्राइस एज एन इम्पोर्टेंट वेरिएबल स्टडी करें फॉर कंसिडरिंग द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई इन दी मार्केट फाइन सो दैट विल बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज market isolation that is means we are studying the market in isolation and this will be regarded as a partial equilibrium analysis that means once we are considering only the price as an important factor price as an important factor to consider the demand the require uh, the demand uh, requirement or the supply function if we are considering only only the price as a determinant for demand or supply of a product for a particular period of time that time we will say that we are doing a partial equilibrium analysis rather if we are understanding the market forces in totality that means we know that price is not the only determinant price is not the only determinant for demand there a demand or supply both theek hai abhi dekho demand price bhi badh raha hai covid 19 situation mein abhi kya haal hai hamara price bhi badh raha hai phir bhi hum log saman bhi zyada zyada khareed rahe hain तो डेफिनेटली ये तो प्राइस और डिमांड के जो लॉ ऑफ डिमांड फंक्शन है वो तो यहाँ काम नहीं कर रहा है तो क्या काम कर रहा है यहाँ पे हमारे जनरल इक्विलिब्रियम एनालिसिस करनी होती है बिकॉज सोसाइटी सोसाइटी क्या मांग रही है सोसाइटी की क्या नीड है दैट वी हैव टू कंसिडर अंडरस्टूड इज इट क्लियर हाँ 